Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part one of a little mini series that I will be doing that is going to be testing out different products that claim to help cover thin hair. First product on this list, Bumble's Brownish Hair Powder. I mean, where the f should I really even start? If you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Giselle. Also, go by Stink Face Glam. I do a bunch of lifestyle videos, including a lot of hair videos as I'm currently going through. Being overdramatic, maybe. But to me, it's really horrific. My hair is falling out even more so now. I thought my hair journey was getting a little better, but in actuality, it's getting worse. So on this channel, I document my hair journey and products that I am trying to help boost my confidence, reduce the thinning and shedding of my hair, and just make me feel like the bad bitch that I know I am inside. If videos like that appeal to you, then this video is the one for you. This is technically what I would consider a dry shampoo. They call it a dry cleansing shampoo. I saw a few people using this to help cover up the sparseness in their hair, as well as remove any oiliness. So I figured this would be the first product to try. Off the bat, I will say this is very, very messy to apply. Ladies, if you have white fingernails for the summer, please note that your nails will get dirty. On the back, I will read the instructions. It says to shake well, hold 12 inches from head, and mist through dry hair. Let's dry, then brush through. Don't use fingers. Product may transfer, but washes out easily with soap and water. It never dries down fully. If you were to scratch your hair, you would see brown powder on your fingertips. I put a little bit too much product in my hair. I didn't realize it until I was brushing it through, and my hair was just so stiff. Even now, this is the day after, my hair still feels, you know that feeling when you put too much dry shampoo in your hair and it feels like there's a powdery substance? I will say it definitely took care of the oiliness that I had in my hair and it did deposit a shadow of a brownish tint to my scalp. As you'll see in the little try on portion that I filmed for you guys yesterday, it does help to hide the sparseness but doesn't completely cover. So for example, if I had my hair up like I have it today, which I will for the rest of the summer because girl, it is too hot to have your hair down, this product would be good to get the edges of your hairline or if you're having a really, really oily hair day, this product would definitely help hide the oiliness and also hide some of the sparseness of your thin hair. I'm going to leave the product name and price and link down below in the description box as well as on the screen. So if you are interested in purchasing this, you can do so. Would I say that it covers up the sparseness on your scalp from your thinning hair? Yes and no. It gives it a bit of a shadow, but if you have extreme thinning hair, a bunch of sparseness on your scalp, it's not going to do much for you. It will help with the oiliness. When you pull your hair up, it will help to make those little spaces not really peek through as much, but it's really not going to give you the full coverage that you would need if you're trying to hide severe sparseness. I did note that when I did touch my hair throughout the day, it was fine. I didn't transfer on my hair or my pillowcase as I slept, but when I was working out and when I did go to walk my dog and I'm sweating and I was patting myself with a paper towel, I noticed that there was transfer on the paper towel and it did rub off where I did pat on my hair with a paper towel. So it's not transfer proof if you are sweating. I will not say that it will drip down your face. It's not like that, but if you do touch it, it will remove itself from your scalp. Other things to know about this product. It does have a bit of a smell. Like I said, it is very messy, so just proceed with caution as to where you apply it. It does come off easy with soap and water. I haven't washed my hair yet because I wanted to see how this would last throughout the second day. It has worn off because of the fact that I was sweating and I was patting my head. I will show you guys a close-up of my scalp. It's still holding up pretty decently. That is part one of the how to cover up thinning hair mini series that I will be doing throughout this year. I will be trying out a few products that claim to help cover thin hair in this little mini series that I'm doing. So if you would like to continue to watch this series, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your thoughts of this product that I use. Would you use it? Will you get it? Will it work for you? Let me know in the comments down below. Also be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so you're notified when the next video of this mini series comes out. Please be sure to follow me on my social media handles. I will leave them somewhere on the screen. And as always, thank you for watching this video, for watching any of my videos, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!